Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a Python module called Pickle. Um, the Pickle module uh, implements a binary protocol for serializing and deserializing a Python object structure. Um, so basically you can create a, a Python class object, for example, um, and it, it allows you to package that class object into a file to be accessed at a later date. So I'm just going to show you a, a quick example of how that's how that's done. So first we'll uh, import pickle. And we'll just create a class uh, called food. And in food we'll have our init statement. In init we'll have self.protein initialized to zero. We'll have self.carbs initialized to zero and we'll have self.fat initialized to zero. Um, so let's create a, um, a function inside of here to do something with those variables. So let's just do uh, calc calories. And so with calc calories, we will do self.protein times four self.carbs times four plus self.fat times nine. And we will return calories. Okay, so that's our basic class structure. Um, let's create a object called cheese. This will be a food object. Um, for cheese, we'll have a Protein of nine, we'll have uh, carbs of one, and we'll have a fat of nine. Whoops. Okay. Um, okay. So now, now we want to uh, package this cheese uh, class object um, into a file. So this is where pickle comes in play. So we'll do open with open, and here's your file name, and your file name can be anything you want it to be. Uh, the extension could be anything. So we'll just do whatever, um, and then we'll do uh, wb for write as file, and then we'll do pickle dot dump cheese into file. We'll run that. And as you see, cheese dot whatever has been created. So to deserialize cheese dot whatever and use it somewhere else, what we'll want to do is import pickle. And since cheese dot whatever is uh, the cheese object is um, dependent on this food class object, we'll have to import uh, this food class object. So from Pickle tutorial import food. Okay. So we'll do a with open statement and we'll get that cheese.whatever file. And this time we'll read it. So RB as file. And we'll set it equal to cheese. Pickle.load file. Okay. So now we have the cheese object in a separate Python file. Um, so we'll do, let's, let's just print, just make sure, print cheese.carbs, uh, print, let's try the calc calories, cheese.calc calories. Okay, we'll run that. And as you see, we have one carbs and 121 calories. Um, <clears throat> so it may not be very efficient to save a single, uh, class object like this in, into a file. So a clever way you can save multiple is to create a dictionary. So I'll just create a dictionary called pantry here. So in pantry, um, I'll just store the cheese object so pantry cheese equals cheese 
and we can create another object. We'll just do egg food cheese or sorry egg dot protein. I don't know five che uh, egg dot carbs one egg dot fats uh, four. And then in pantry, we'll save the egg object as egg equals egg. Okay, so let's save it as a different file name. Let's call it pantry. And we want to dump pantry. The pantry is a dictionary object uh, that contains two class objects. So we'll run that. So pantry dot whatever has been created. So over in pickle load, we will um, load pantry as RB. We'll set it equal to pantry. And here we want to do cheese is equal to pantry cheese. Same with egg. Egg is equal to pantry egg. So this will still work here because we've already assigned cheese to that uh, class object inside of this dictionary object pantry. Um, so we can do the same actually with uh, egg now. Egg and egg. And run that. And as you can see, we have uh, our, our variables here printed out. 